Hello everybody, WJSGamer20 here, welcome back to more of the Mario Party Superstars playthrough. So, in this video we are going to finish off Mario Party mode with the final board, which is Horrorland. So, yep, let's get started. So, we've gone through Yoshi's Tropical Island, um... Spaceland, Peach's Birthday Cake, and Woody Woods. Now it's time to go through the final board, which is Horland. So in the last video, when I was picking my character, I did say I was going to use Daisy or w Wario, and then... I think it was, um... Rosaline, and then... Well, I don't remember, actually. I think I'm gonna be Daisy in this video. Because remember when this game was first announced, they didn't announce Daisy, but Daisy was not a confirmed character. So I feel like because of that, we should probably play as her. So let's have Wario, Rosalina, and... Hot Choice. Yeah, probably Donkey Kong. <laughs> Let's do the final board, which is Horrorland. And this one has a five star rating. Be careful, this area place is guarded by ghosts, is different between day and night. Still gonna do 10 turns. Still gonna do classic bonus stars. Still gonna leave help on. So, last time I did N64. Um, the N64 minigame pack, but now I'm gonna do the GameCube one. And this basically means we'll get to play minigames that are from, I think, 4 from 7 or something. We've made it, this is Horrorland. A sinister magician once made a home of these spooky woods. But when the superstar drove them away, the forest returned to normal. Since then, some spooky spirits arrived and then and made everything well spooky again. If only a new superstar would rise and save the forest from its frightening fate. Now... Where, oh, where might we find a new superstar? Do I have to spell it out for you? Become the superstar and save our forest. Yeah, Toad's in charge. Guess it's up to me to be your guide. On this board, spooky magic turns day to night and back again every two turns. Womps will move from your path during the day, but they sleep deeply at night. There are also stones of strange marks on them. They probably hide a secret. But just talking about this place gives me the creeps. Let's get on with the game. Wow. Do you guys remember in, um... Mario Party 9, where every board we played, I went first or second. Well, guess what? The same thing happened in this game. Here, the star is over there. I honestly don't think I'm gonna win this board, because I've won the last four. Or, wait, yeah, the last. Well, the last three, because I didn't win Yoshi's Tropical Island, but I don't want to talk about that. Because the person who won that, we don't talk about that person at all. So here's the map, and yeah, I've got the classic music on. Oh yeah, I'm going to look at the map, because uh, I just want to let you guys to see it. 
So there's a Mr. I still. Mr. I will warp you across the board. I think I remember seeing him in a mini game. I can't remember what game it was from. I think it was Mario Party 8. But he was in a mini game where you have to spin him around so he gets all dizzy, and I thought that was pretty funny. So, yeah, we want to go this way. Yeah, these are all the stickers that Daisy has. I mean, they're all basically normal. Let's go. I also got my Mario Party level up a bit. Also, why go that way when the fastest way is the way I run? Oh god, these players just don't make any sense. Oh, we haven't played this yet. Dinger Derby. Swing at just the right moments, hit the machine's pitches. I'm actually very bad at this because it's very fast. You just press A to swing. So fast. I really like that ending where all the balloons are in the sky. That's really cool. So I like that mini game only because of the ending, but it's just one of those games where it's it's just very fast. So I'm just gonna see what I want to get. Let me check the other board. I think I would probably want... I mean, I want a 9 or 10, because then I can... Well, for two reasons. One, I'll be close to the star. Two, I can get... Um, something good. And I get something that's not even helpful and not even close. What would be better, a mushroom or a double dice? Because the other items are just not helpful. I think a double dice would be helpful. Because a mushroom, I probably might roll a one and only make six. Yeah, that's the number I wanted. You got a chomp call. Does it cost seven coins? Oh, and of course he can move the star now. That's probably why I went the other way. I also got an item bag. What? Oh, good. That actually looked like a golden pipe because it was gold, but no, it was a skeleton key. Chomp call. Why is everyone buying chomp calls? Yeah, because they're going the other way, and then they can move the star, and then it's going to be right where they are. I don't know if they're being smart or they're being dumb. Well, they're being dumb because they're not going the right way. 
But at least I am in the lead for the mini game star like I always am. Oh, we have also haven't done this. This is uh, what goes up. For this one, you just jump on the Koopa paratroopers and try to get the highest. And then you just press A to jump and just, you know, use the control stick to move. No! No. That is so hard. Why, game? Why Why do you have to let the people I hate beat me? Why? Why, why do you have to let that happen? Well, now it's night time because it's... It's not turn two. Said it, it changes day and night every two turns. Whatever, if you say so, the game. So I'm going to use my double dice and hopefully get a 10. Yep, I just got a star. Yeah, so at night time, like Toad said, the swamps are asleep, and if you can't go past them because they're asleep. And you can't wake them up. Which you should be able to, but for some reason, these people can. That is not good because. Yeah, well. Well, that's actually even worse. Because now I don't have any coins. It's a one. <gasps> do you want to know why I don't like Donkey Kong? Two. Two. Because... One, because I don't I don't like his voice. Like his voice is is so weird. Like he's supposed to be like a gorilla and that's not how gorillas sound. Two every single game he's in, the game just talks about he's super strong. Yeah well if that's true then I'd like to see him like move like a building or something. If that is actually true. Because if, if you say some someone's super strong, then... That means they can move a building or something. Like, I'd like to see him try, though. Uh, have we done this before? I don't think we have. No, I haven't. So this is squared away. I'm forgetting to say what game these games are from. I've done that for like all these videos. So this is from Mario Party 5. The solo side just has to not get crushed. And then the team side just has to try and crush the solo player. And the solo player has a really big advantage because they get to move even faster than we do. Oh my god. No, now I'm losing. You want to know why? Because they're giving me games that I can't do. Oh. 
Well, at least she went past the star, but still... How did, how did how did I know that was gonna happen? How? How did I know you were gonna give me a ten? Everyone has enough for a star except me. You've been getting a lot of lucky spaces. Everyone's getting so many lucky things right now, and I'm just getting all the bad things. I'm winning, but I'm just not getting that lucky. And everyone has so many coins, and I have six. Say yes, or instead don't. Well, I'm still winning by three coins. I just need more coins. Well... No, I'm not gonna get that. What if he's stupid and use his, um, charm call? That would be very nice. He's literally two away. I don't know if we've done this before, but... For this one, you pushy penguins, you have to avoid the pushy penguins without falling into the water last one standing wins. And all you have to do is just hold right on the control stick the whole thing again to, in order for you to do this. And I won. Finally won something for like the last two mini games now. To that I say that. I get a lucky space. Yeah, none of these are really gonna help me that much. Well, I mean, that is. Oh my god. Well, he's gonna be in first place, which. Oh, wait, no, he's not. I get there. Here I can. But of course he got an 18. So he's gonna be close to it. Yeah, of course he's only gonna spend three coins. That's just that's very lucky for you. That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna hope for is, um, that I get a really big roll this next turn.
yeah, we've seen this before. We've seen this twice. I think we've seen it twice. Last time I did this, I didn't fall off once. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh wow, well, I still won. It's like I needed to not fall off. What I really need right now is, it's like, it would have helped if I got, like, a, a double dice or a custom dice. Then that would have given me a bigger roll. So technically I have two stars right now because I am winning the, well actually three because I am winning the, um, coin star and the... Mini get. I'm just gonna ignore that. Let's pretend that didn't happen until. Okay. So, apparently it's a random person who gets the the last place bonus. Like, well, look at what place DK is in. Does that say 4TF? No, it doesn't even say that at all. Wario's placement does. Why would you do that, Toad? And now he just got another star, which is very annoying. Yeah, whatever, DK. Wait, what if I restart the turn? Shall I do that? Because you know what? Should I actually restart the turn? You know what? I'm gonna do that. So basically, when you restart her, I know this is kind of cheating, but but I think you you guys are wrong. I think Toad cheated there because there's no way. Like in every Mario Party game, they've given some someone the person who's in last a bonus. And then, for some reason in this game, it's not last place who gets it, it's, like, literally a random person who gets it, which I, th I just don't think is right. Can you not give Donkey Kong coins? Okay, good. Yeah, that was actual cheating, I don't care what you say, that was cheating. Like, why, Toad? I thought you were supposed to be on my side. And then I get a one. Well, at least he went past it. How many lucky spaces has this gorilla landed on? He's landed on, like, a million. I know that was cheating, but I think we all know who was cheating. It was Toad and Donkey Kong. Or Toad, mainly. He was cheating. That is actually really smart. Eh, yeah, we don't want to see that. So I technically have three stars right now, well, 
Wait, do I? No, I think I have two because I think Mario has the coin song. Oh my god, I love this minigame so much. So this is Book Squirm from Mario 34. Stand under the holes in the falling pages so you don't get flattened. This is a very popular minigame, by the way. Because of its concept. I am very good at this minigame. The only thing I don't like about it is when people crowd my space. Like, look, everyone just keeps going in the space I'm going in. And that's annoying because then they try to push me out of it. actually really scary. Don't know why, but it was. So I think I'm in the lead for the coin star right now. Yeah, I think, yeah, I am, because I don't think Wario's got to 47, or 57. That is just not fair. Well, fine game, be like that. If I roll a one next turn, I'm just restarting the turn. I don't want to just move slow, I want to move really fast. You can't just move it next to right where, right where I am. You just have to move it like super far. At least there's like no way people can get it unless. That's all they do. And then. Oh, he's only gonna do a prey. So we finally get to see a dual mini game. And I think there's only like five. Uh, and I'm really good at this one. This is Motor Rooter from Mario Party 3. Race a shell through the winding or the winding pipe and get to the finish before your rival. Navigate well to avoid the amps. And I had a nice streak going on there and then I just lost. Like, how are you even supposed to see that coming? But just listen to how weird that is. Like, at what point does a gorilla sound like... And you did it again. Well, I think it's safe to say that I am going to get the coin star. Yeah, that's the kind of item I want. Well, he doesn't have 50 coins at least, so he can't steal a star. That's weird, because last time someone stole coins from me, they got 14 when I was mashing really hard. 
Now this time we only got nine. Is it weird? Oh my god. Why am I the only one that doesn't get anything lucky on my turn? Everyone else just gets the same thing. Like, there was one turn where they all got lucky spaces, and then... Now they're probably gonna get all... Um... All customs. Nearly. But they all got lucky spaces, which is just... Not fair, and then I gotta say that, yeah. Final countdown, yeah, we, yeah, we have done the thing. I think we have. Why did you just decide to just commit suicide, Donkey Kong? The point of this mini game is to basically survive, not fall off the edge. If I can just get another star, then I can. Bas I'm basically gonna win this no matter what I do. This is just not fair at all. I'm literally moving at the speed of a like snail. That's just that's so stupid. Like, why would you do that? Like, why would you roll a one and then make yourself lose coins? So dumb. Sounds like I'm on his team, but like, no, I'm not. You got that. That is so good. That's such a good item. You're just gonna get rid of it. If I was you, I would have got rid of the chomp call. Yeah, let watch her get rid of the. Yeah, but still, she should have got rid of the skeleton key. These players are just so dumb. You know what I've noticed in this board? We're seeing a lot of mini games from Mario Party 5. Like we saw Dinger Derby squared away. And then I think there's another one I remember we haven't seen. But this is tube it or lose it, but the solo side just has to pop the rival's tubes and then you just have to dodge the solo player and th this is actually really hard. I say that for every mini game, it's because it is. Nope. You also press the A button or the B button, so down I couldn't even move. Rosalina, please survive. We can't let this weird voiced gorilla beat us. I'm just gonna ignore that. Let's just ignore that happening. All I'm gonna say is. I'm gonna say that three times, because that is just so dumb. You literally were at the finish line, and you didn't even... You didn't accelerate. That, to me, is a bit stupid, if you ask me. You would, we would have won that Rose Lena if it wasn't for you. Yeah, this is what I've wanted all along. But whatever, let's just pretend Donkey Kong didn't win that. Let's pretend that we won that.
Why did I say that? I'm just gonna keep on saying this because of Rosalina. Rosalina would have tried to annoy me even more by taking my star away. Rosalina, if you make me lose this mini game again, I'm just gonna hate you forever, just like I do with Peach. Yeah, I think we've seen this before. That was in the goal. Why would you just kick it right to Wario? The point of the game is to take the goal and to kick the ball. That's not where the goal is. Despite how many mini games we've lost. I think I'm still in the lead. Well, I should be. So let's just see what I want to get here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I think we should roll a 5. That way we can get 50 more coins. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. This way, unless there's a versus space or a duel, which there is probably. I think we've won the coin star. And I think. I think we might have won the board. Because I have a mini game star, should have the mini game star, and then I also have the coin star. Okay, well, I, I'll might have to take that back. Well, even if I do lose all my coins, it still won't affect. That, that is just so dumb. No, I'm I'm just starting. I'm not letting you do this to me like this. But, anyway. Yeah, even if I lose this, he'll take all my coins. And it won't make any difference. Because that, that you won't get coins from this. Anyway, this is Dark and Crispy from Mario Party 6. This is actually the first Bowser minigame that we have not seen yet. And... There are only three of them, I think, and this, um, this is not my favorite one, but one of the Bowser minigames is one that I just, it's just, like, iconic. No one can deny that. So for this one, a Dark and Crispy, um, you can't see Bowser, and you have to avoid him, and he'll breathe out fire sometimes. And that, that, I couldn't even see where he was. Come on, lose. We don't want you to win so much. Well, at least it's... At least I'm not the only one who gets all my coins taken away. Wait, didn't he say I'll take all of your coins? No, nope, whatever. Don't tell me that's what I think it is. 
Okay, good. I was gonna say, hopefully that's not a chance time space. Well, I got the coin star, and I think I've won the board. And stop putting me on a team with that stupid idiot. He's won so many mini games. I don't want him to win anymore. This is gonna be really close for the mini game star. Because I don't know if I've actually got it. Rosalina, that was your fault. Like, go watch that back. Like, she made me fall. In fact, can I even, like... I just want to show you all that. Unless it actually does. Yeah, like, watch what Rosalina does to me here. I wa watch her push me off. Yeah, look, she made me fall off. Also, I took a few screenshots when I was playing Animal Crossing. Yeah, I also got the best villager. Um, yeah, I really like these two villagers. They're my favorite. Yeah, I got stitches. And then I took a picture of this because I like the way Peach looked. And then, this was just me playing Mount Mini Games and luckily scoring a goal by just shooting it like that. Yeah, I also got my island to a five-star island. And you might have seen, but there was a screenshot of me playing Coney Island and then me getting a lot of ice cream. I'll actually show you that after the... This is going to be embarrassing if I don't get the... Okay, I did. So I won the board. No matter who gets this, I win. Well, I swept all the bonus stars. Well, kind of, because Wario did get one, but still I got all of them. Yay, I won again! So, I won every board except Yoshi's Tropical Island. And we don't even- I don't even want to talk about who won that because... All I'm gonna say is she is an absolute cheater and she just sucks. Okay. Toad's advice has always been, like, if you watch the, if you go watch the other videos where I won, Toad's, like, saying, Toad keeps on saying, if I had to guess your strategy involved winning mini games, like, that's all he said. And that's because I can win all the mini games. Yeah, that was actually really scary. But yeah, like, if you didn't see the very first video where I lost the first board, I just, I just hate her so much. But thankfully, I got her back in Woody Woods, and she so deserved it. Yeah, throughout the, all the boards, I did not get a single hidden block. There was one where in the first board, Mario got star from it, and that was just rigged as hell. But all these other boards, including this one, went well, but Yoshi's Tropical Island was just like... It was just like... Nope. Just didn't go well at all. Of course, he moved the most spaces. Only 24 stickers used. 
Yeah, I got all the bonus stars. Okay, let's see up, let's, uh, just go ahead and... I wish we could end on the screen. But no, we can't. Level 62. Okay, guys. So, we've completed every board. And we only have one more thing left to show in this game. And that is Mount Mini Games, and after that we have to show off all these other modes. And in Mount Mini Games, um, there's just basically a mode where it's there's just a bunch of side games you can do. Anyway, let's go and buy some stuff here. I'm not gonna buy these yet. I did get some new encyclopedia. Yeah. That Hammer Bros page. I'm just gonna buy what I can buy. But the ones I haven't bought yet are the new ones. Let's buy the card designs. The premium does look nice, but I still- I've got the- I'll show you what design I've got for my card, which you probably have seen it before. Yeah, it's the, uh, Illumination one. I just think it has some nice colors to it. So, now that we've completed every board, we are now going to do a Mount Mini game. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, because we're going to play, um, seven different modes, and just basically have a lot of fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all for Mount Mini Games when we do, I think, probably the mini games we haven't seen, probably. Anyway, see you all for that. Bye, everyone.